So if I was going to give you a one word forecast for you, Gemini, until August 23rd, it would be communication. Gemini, welcome to August. Now the sun is in Leo from July 22nd until August 23rd. And so Leo, you know, the sun being in Leo, that's a very leadership, like the lion position. It's performing, it's getting out there, it's being like a leader, a lion, you know, like Leo is. And so for you, Gemini, that's in your third house of communications. It will be very good for you to take leadership in the way you communicate with others, okay? That's kind of your cheat code to the video game of life. Maybe learning something new. Could be about teaching classes or learning classes and stuff like that. There is some new money to be made for you, Gemini, here in August by learning things or by taking short trips or by getting in front of the community more in some way, getting out there, showing your face, you know, more live videos or draws, like all that kind of stuff that you do online for your business or, or like just for personal life too. The communication energy is quite strong with the sun and Leo in your third house. We do get on August 1st, Gemini, the full moon, the full moon in Aquarius, that futuristic technology, oriented sign very futuristic and it's in your ninth house of spirituality so gemini i know a lot of you guys are going to be interested in looking at simulation theory anything to do with ai computers the future as it's mixed with spirituality in some way you know quantum physics law of attraction or law of assumption or any of that stuff it's, it's kind of a spiritual magic here, be, but because it's an Aquarius, it can be with groups because Aquarius likes groups and networks, but it's also this technology flavor to it. So it could be about adding technology as well, Gemini, to the work you already do or to, to your life in some way to expand the mind. See the ninth house that the full moon puts some completions in. So, you know, for some of you Geminis, it could be this one pattern of thought or this one way of thinking that was quite linear is changing. And you realize, oh, boy, maybe I was a little wrong on that or things are really changed. Or maybe you're learning about Mandela effects or all this kind of weird spiritual stuff. I mean, it, the sky's the limit when it happens to be the ninth house, which means expansion of the mind and your belief systems changing can also mean, too, a completion of some kind of long overseas trip or some kind of foreign affairs thingy-ma-bob. <laughs> so August 1st, you could watch for some kind of completion, either in your belief system in some way, where now you're opening your mind up to new belief systems, or it could be a literal completion. Uh, maybe you're completing, creating the plans for a trip. Maybe you've completed registering for your passport or something like that, right? There's a little bit of overseas feeling when it comes to the ninth house. And the full moon brings a culmination or an energy, this fullness of energy, almost like an ending. So we also, for you, Gemini, have Mars and Mercury in your fourth house of home and family. And it's in Virgo, so it's very efficient. It's cleaning up the house. It's cleaning up uh, your real estate in some way. It's um, organizing. There's an organization feel with Mars and Mercury and Virgo and looking at the fine details when it comes to your real estate, your home, you know, and your family that live in that home. Or it could be about your parents as well. And there's some organization feeling, some efficiency feeling there. Now, Venus is in Leo and it's retrograde. It goes backwards kind of thing until September, which means that the, Venus is the planet of love and money. There's a lot of relationship reviewing about what makes you happy when it comes to your relationships. I think for you, Gemini, you are really going to be thinking that the next relationship you have or the one that you're already in needs communication. Communication, that third house, is all about feeling like you can communicate on an even level with the other person and have the balance of the yin, the yang, the giving, the receiving. 
but the communication is key and that's going to be a theme for you Gemini here until September when it comes to your relationships so if I was going to give you a one word forecast for you Gemini until August 23rd it would be communication all right. And if you like my readings, please like and subscribe and come see me at the reading room here in Peace River if you'd like your own reading or we can do it online via Zoom. Just visit me at my website, www.themoontree.org. Helping you navigate life's energies. And I'll see you in the next one, Gemini. Bye for now.